Does that have really, really pretty? Does that have thorns? No, nope, no thorns on it at all. That's what I need, Robin. Something without thorns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Get get rid of that Bogan Villa. <laughs> That Bogan Villa is something else. I, I need I need like an electric hedge clipper or something. I don't know why. That's right. That's what you have to use. I know. I don't know why I use the handheld thing. It's just snip, snip, snip. I guess I feel like I'm more <laughs> organic or something. <laughs> I'm being green. Yeah, exactly. So, so what else? Done? There was another plant in here I want to ask you about that had gigantic leaves. Looks like it could make a nice salad. Is, do you eat these things? I mean, let's got. Big, I don't think so. Big yellow veins. It's not an elephant ear, or is it? What is that big thing? It looks like a cabbage or a lettuce or something. Or did you have the camera really close? It looks. The huge. camera might have been really close. Let me let me see if I can find it. Okay, it's there's no name. It says it was posted 11 hours ago, so if that helps, I don't know. It looks like it has a little bit of a blemish on it. I don't know if that's a reflection or a blemish. I don't know if that helps. It looks like a big leaf from from a cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> it does, and it's got veins all over. Somebody, somebody else on Facebook was was showing off some bugs that look like leaves. And, and uh, you know the bugs that look like leaves, and they were crawling yeah. all on her hand. Yeah, isn't that something? Yeah, I love that. Did we lose I you? Love the, Lori? the insects. She when she disappeared. Oh. She yeah, I was trying to find it on there, but I couldn't find it. So oh, okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I know we did get in some bir some uh, bird of paradise that have real big leaves on them. Oh, okay. Well, this has no uh, flower. This is just a yeah. No, it, it, it will put flowers on later, but right now they don't have any flowers on them. And then we have um, kind of like an elephant ear, but it's a more sturdy, stronger elephant ear. Maybe that that's has, it. That um, sounds like kind it. of a light green to a dark green leaf to it. Yeah. But would that go good with ranch dressing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> uh, do you have uh, roses all year round, or are there some flowers that are only only seasonal? Yeah, there are some only seasonal flowers, but roses we pretty much have from spring all the way through till fall frost. And azaleas are that way too. You know, like if you go to the big box stores, they're only going to have azaleas in the springtime. But we carry azaleas all year long. Have good prices on little red ruffles. We sell red ruffles for like three ninety nine all day long. And it's a dwarf one that's ever blooming. Um, and then we have the roses. The roses pretty much bloom all the time also that are easy to take care of. So a lot of there's a lot of different things that we carry all year long that when you go to the big box stores, you're only going to find certain times of the year. Do you like going home or do you like staying there? It seems like I, I would love staying there. <laughs> yeah, I like staying here. <laughs> I mean, unless you have a lot of... I just, just looks, I, have, I have plants all over my place, though, and I, I can't take credit for one of them. I, I don't do anything. <laughs> God takes care of them, right? Or they're not going to live. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And yeah. Even, even when they fall down, I, I, all I do is drag yeah. them to the to the curb, and then the city of Ocala takes them away. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, I got to <laughs> tell you about this. We also have you talk, been talking about your banana tree. Yes, we have a we have a cherry tree. It is um, it is called a um, oh, I got to look at it and see what the name of it is. It is a. Um, Barbados cherry and it produces I can't believe the cherries that it has produced this year we have them in like little shrub kind of sizes that are in like two gallon pots that are just full of blooms that are going to fruit and we have one big one that has had cherries on it all season long I can't believe it no oh, and wow. they're good and they're good edible cherries too so there's a lot of different fruit you know that you can get and plant in the yard that will do well here other than citrus trees because citrus trees have been having so many issues here lately but you know we've got um and i've got coming in today i've got some peach trees coming in that university of florida put out um and we've got our peach trees in on all of our fruit trees on sale like buy one get one free right oh, now man. too yeah, so yeah. yeah you know the, yeah. the only problem i have with cherries the jar that they sell them in is so narrow <laughs> I mean, I don't. You ladies have skinny fingers, but my fingers—you just can't get those things out of there. That's why you get a fork and use a fork. <laughs> Cherries and olives—they're a problem. <laughs> yeah, olives can be a problem too. Exactly. Uh, when uh, people come down there and they want to buy a gift for someone, are you able to put bows or something in there to make it a little bit fancy? Yeah, we can do that. Um, we have bows that we can put on, and we have like we have little gift cards that we can put in them too. Um, I mean, we're oh, not beautiful. as fancy, you know, as as mm -hmm. the forest would be, but yeah. And we get a lot. Of, we get people that call us from out of town that you know around Mother's Day and Father's Day and stuff like that want us to deliver, you know, rather than going to a forest, get something that's going to live for them. And we do. We deliver also. Oh, so you do so that? We can you also deliver. deliver them. Uh huh. Oh, mm -hmm. how fabulous sure is that? That is yeah. great. 
That yeah. Is- Robin just did that for her daughter-in-law. She had some plants delivered to yeah. New Jersey yeah. for her birthday. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I guess yeah. Uh, I guess they they're quick up there. It's the Garden State, after all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you recommend for the novice gardener? What kind of plants should they uh, be able to tend to without getting frustrated by so they progress to be a you know seasoned like yourself? Yeah, there's a lot of different ones that you can use that are pretty easy to take care of themselves, like the crepe myrtles, which are blooming right now. They're super easy to take care of. You almost can't kill them. Um, If you want to do roses, do like the knockout roses or the drift roses. Those are easy to take care of, and they bloom all the time. Um, There's um, periwinkles, periwinkles and lantana. There's a lot of different hummingbird and butterfly plants that you can get that are super easy to take care of also. Um, it doesn't take a lot of water either. So you know what I want to tell you? We went to um, what was, what's that place called again? Uh, Shalom Gardens. Yes. And they, oh, I saw some of those pictures. Uh, yeah, I didn't take very good pictures to be honest with you. But <laughs> but, they, but they had a um, oh gosh, what did you just say? Crepe myrtle. And, but right. they but they looked like they manicured them so that the bottoms had nothing, and all the all the leafy flowery part was at the top. Was it? Th- yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can and you can do that. You can either leave them bushy and full from the ground up, or you can kind of trim all the bottom off and limb them up. So even though they have multiple trunks, they look more like a tree. Yeah, that was a or neat you, look. Or, it was cool. Or you can or you can trim them where they just have a single trunk on them, and they're and when they get older, they're so pretty because they have such a smooth bark to them. That is na- I mean, I know it's not natural, but I like it. You know what else I do? Yeah. We ha- I have this thing called the what's that thing called that little palm in my front yard that I started. Cu- Say go. Sego. Sego. That, mm-hmm. that the game company mm-hmm. they make the Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> they, I, you, you, they came out with a palm, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got I got like four of them. And, yeah, and, and, and wonderful. If, and and I left it natural forever, and then I was noticing all my neighbors they cut the bottom limbs off, and it kind of right. kind of looks nice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you can you can actually take a, a shovel or something and take those little they call them pups off of them and replant those. Yeah. So well, my neighbor asked me. My neighbor said, "Can I take one of the pups?" I said, "I don't think I have any pups." <laughs> <laughs> but you did. Lo and behold, that yeah. was so great. I said, "If you can, hi- if you find a pup, go ahead, because I'm finished with the dogs." <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, we want to send people to see you and say hi. Make sure you say hi to Lori and Bob and everybody over at Bob Wines, and um, and they will know then that you heard them on WOCA. It helps us as well. Um, and where are you located, Lori? 2610 Southeast 38th Street, which is off of 17th Street and Lake Ware Avenue. And we're here Monday through Friday, 9 to 4, and Saturday, 9 to 2. All right. And let's give a phone number, too. 352-629-5766. And, and my advice, go to Facebook, look at their page, the Bob Wines Nursery Garden Center page, and uh, and you'll find it. You'll see the pictures, and you'll probably go get some ranch dressing and, and uh, have salad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, Laurie. We'll be right back. Thank you. Appreciate it.